Play fake. Bridgewater. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. A bad start there. A big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Now Bridgewater gets it to Gordon. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Third down, Bridgewater. Dancing to his left. He can run for it, and he will. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. You know, I don't think this is the last time we'll see that in this game. This guy has mobility, and they want to use his legs in the game plan. So there will be designed runs as well as his scrambles. They're indeed going for it. Bridgewater. And it is incomplete. The surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And the Titans, they've got the football back, and they've got it in great field position. Let's go. 18, Gator. We ain't giving them nothing to do. Check, check, one. Three, two, three, two. They run with Ezekiel Elliott, last year's NFL rushing leader. And brought down but not before they're inside the 25. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. For Zeke, what a first three years he's had in the NFL. Last year, his second rushing title, 1,434 yards. Not as many as 1,631 that he had as a rookie, but still his yards per game average was the best in the National Football League. To throw on second and six, McCown. That one completes Elliott. And he will score! Touchdown, Titans! From 19 yards away, as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. It oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. This is taken at his four. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. They'll go with their leading rusher from a season ago. This is Aaron Jones. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. Check 
Bridgewater. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Adams. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Brandon, I'm not going to tell him that you called him old in our pregame meeting, but this guy has been around a long time. There's a trick in the book. He knows it. He probably even wrote a few chapters. And this is what he's always had. And that's a nose for the football. He's able to come away here with the interception. The first down run for Elliott will net him about five yards. It's second down. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Go, go. Second and five now. McCown. That's Elliott. Complete. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26 yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. So first down carry by Elliott. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Hey, hey, Mike, Mike, Throwing on second and three. McCallum. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. A.J. Klein. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Come on, set. 60 Pittsburgh. On third down, Elliott. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. It's a six-yard gain, and it leaves him looking at a fourth down. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But I also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. So he splits the uprights, and has to be a nice feeling. Right when it left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. This fielded at the two. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. They find themselves down 10-0 early after the interception on their opening drive led to a field goal. So now they've got to pick up the mantle a little bit. You mentioned the team's down 10. They've helped contribute to that. How are they going to get their team back into this ball game? Run the offense that you think is going to be effective and execute it at a high level. They'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Brings up second and nine at the 25-yard line. Ten nothing the score after one on EA Sports. Eagles, you got fair. four. Let's go! Two on the bench! Two! the mic! Get that quarterback! Get set! Go! Here's Jones! <laughs> And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. 
Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. The loss of three on that first down pass play, now second and 13. To throw, Bridgewater. Got a man open, that's Devontae Parker complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 45-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. On the counter, here's Jones. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's Bridgewater escaping the pressure right. That's complete to Golden. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. For an offense that has not found the end zone yet, that's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. Now Jones. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Here's Bridgewater. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. Couple of plays sent him the wrong way, and now they face a third and 14. Let's go, defense. Uh, who you got? Go, go. Flair, Flair, Flair. <laughs> Out of the gun, Bridgewater. Eluding the pressure right. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. J.J. Arthega Whiteside, the intended receiver. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit, and receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. You gotta know that you're open, otherwise, just don't do it. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Cameron Meredith, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Second down to Tenderson, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case. And that play got bottled up. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Tevin Smith. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he's got about five yards as he's taken down right at the 25. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. 
Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. He gets it into the arms of Parker, complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. 25 yards for the touchdown, as they are now on the board here in the first half. Tucker with the extra point, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This one taken from the seven. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Now the former fourth-round pick, it's Kalen Balaj. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Back to throw. Hill finding the open man, and that's Tim Patrick. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans in a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. That's taken in by Henderson. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense... Be aware, ball may come your way. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now Balazs. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Collage. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat? And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is a well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as he'll try to get three before half. He made his first attempt, this from 45. Meyer's kick is good. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the young men. So we have reached halftime in our first preseason matchup of the year. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, probably not likely to see many starters in the second half as we get back at it underway in this preseason opener. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. 
And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. On second and seven, Hill. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Come on, set, H.E. Gator. Henderson will try to run for the first. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. To throw is Hill. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked out and incomplete. The safety, Jamal Adams, able to break that one up. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Slam, slam, slam. three, two, eighteen, jump. Fair, fair. A give for Henderson running to the right. Just a couple there on the second down run. Now they're staring at a third and eight situation. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Throwing on third down, Hill. That's complete to Meredith. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. 57, 57's right. Ah. Check, check. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Hey, Sam, off. Get it. Looking to throw on second down. Hill in a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jared Davis. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Again, it's Jones. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. You know that old expression, it's not my night? It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. 
That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. It'll wind up being a loss of two, and it'll be fourth down. And they'll try for it here on fourth. Bridgewater and company stay out there. Three down, three down. Bridgewater to throw for it on four. He's got Herndon, his tight end. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. Boy, that's some kind of effort. When he caught it, I doubted if he could get there. Knew it was going to be close, but credit him. Really good effort. How about the rack on that play, the run after catch? But most of the time, we think of it as just being an open field and picking up yardage. Sometimes you have to be real physical in order to gain the yardage you need for a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Bridgewater now. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Bridgewater. And Kelvin Benjamin's got it. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. From the red zone now, Bridgewater. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. We all knew. Watch the ship. Watch the ship. They go back to the ground with Jones. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles behind on the scoreboard, but with the football here as we start the fourth quarter. 51 to Mike, boys. 51. Bridgewater from the gun on third down. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Kelvin Benjamin there to make the grab as his guys are an extra point away now from taking the lead here in the fourth. A very important extra point there, up and good. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This is taken at the three. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Trying to get their tight end involved finally. That's the first time that they've looked his way. He's kind of been a forgotten man in this offensive scheme. Yeah, it didn't look his way at all in the first half, and I'll bet you the offensive coordinator made a note at the half and said, let's get him involved because he could be a big-time playmaker for us. Now a man open down the middle of the field. Come on now, let's go. This quarterback now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. They run it with Balage. And he's got this down to the 35. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. On first down and two. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. 
We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been there for a third time tonight. He's intercepted. Picked off at the 19. And they have the football and will take over at the 24 yard line. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard game. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they look to throw. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 48. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. Interception. Come on, guys. We got this. Here we go. Here we go. 70. Indy. They'll run here with Balazs. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Hill. Gets it to Meredith complete. And down inside the 15 he goes. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. First down, Tennessee. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Henderson now on first and 10. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. Again, it's Henderson. And he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Titans are going to retake the lead. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep your assignments. Let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking. Beats good tackling on that play. And, and that is intercepted by the all-play safety, Eddie Jackson. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. Second and six, just inside the 30.
So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. From the 29, Bridgewater flushed out right. Completes it to Benjamin. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. Back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So the defense helping him out a little bit here late in the fourth. Yeah, and you're exactly right. And when you're the one doing the chasing, you'll take a little help from the other guys, won't you? So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. He'll look to throw. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Josh Gordon there to make the grab. And the Eagles have retaken the lead. So now an extra point doesn't help much. They'll try to go for two to make the difference a field goal, and they can lead it by three. and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about. Not getting beat at this stage, at least give your team a fighting chance. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This fielded at the two. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all the time. They practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. He'll now to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. Well, it was second long, now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. And not too much going there as he'll get it up to the 23-yard line. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. I'm all surprised right here. They've got three timeouts left. The clock's running down, and they aren't using them. Those timeouts do you no good at home. Use them now. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll look to throw. Completes this one to Meredith. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You stop to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Now Hill. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. DeForest Buckner coming right up the gut. Gets in there for a loss of nine. 
Well, we saw a close game that kept us on the edge of our seats down to that final whistle. And right before that final whistle, defense with one last exclamation mark there getting the sack to end it. I love how you phrased it because we were waiting to see what would happen. Obviously, we thought something would happen downfield. Instead, it happens in the offensive backfield, and that's your ball game. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say 24-hour cheesesteak shop. Here we come. Oh, yeah, and I'm buying, partner. <laughs> and guess what? I'm having mine with. And I'm having two if you're buying. Good night from Philadelphia. Check the wrist, man. Got him hot. Hey, man, can't ball like this, man. Lord, pass the pig skin. Money stretch a distance. I'm talking a few hundred thousand yards. You just on your fifth grand. Run it up, 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 count it up. Hey, hundreds and fifties and twenties, no fives and no singles. Don't count on them. Hey, she wanted like me because I need like she can't count on him. She tried to be nosy and hit up my ex. She like, girl, you can count on him. Hey, hey, we need more. Tell him we need more. Putting numbers on the board. Like 16 cars in my front yard. Hey, 30 on my wrist, but I point to God. Big numbers, big numbers. 100 minute bag, that's a big number. Big numbers, big numbers. Whole team counted, that's a big number. Big numbers, big numbers. 100 minute bag, that's a big number. Big numbers, blue punch. It's the young, incredible, honest, the unforgettable. You were Joe like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. I just had to let you know. It's the young. Incredible, honestly unforgettable. You were Joe like Chappelle show. This so perennial. Do this for my millennials. I be murdering any flow. Yeah. I just had to let you know. Yeah. Uh, give me that work and I can sell it. Uh, I put it on the line like I ain't selfish. Nah. The story flip if I let you tell it. Put my heart and soul in so you feel it. I ain't never faking. I'm the realest. Since Tupac in the prison man claiming his innocence. Comely, I'm the greatest rapper in a sense. But any come and see, I'm still guaranteed my wins. This is coming from within, I stuff for real, I don't pretend. When the OG spilling knowledge, bet it's best you soaking it. I'm a prophet to them scholars, got them chakras opening. Got them fixing up they octaves, now they truly focused in. Uh, I'm seeing 2020 visions. Daily manifesting on my premonitions. Best to keep it neutral, got my own religion. The brainwash, gotta make your own decision. My word is James Bond, I stay on the mission. Coming for the top position, ain't no competition, man. Pull up in the top, it's missing, put the opposition in. All that lane switching, this is what the game is. It's the young, 
incredible Honestly unforgettable You would joke like Chappelle's show This so perennial Do this for my millennials I be murdering any flow I just had to let you know It's the young Incredible, honestly unforgettable You would joke like Chappelle show This so perennial Do this for my millennials I be murdering any flow I just had to let you know Came to win. Oh, they asking my name, huh? You ready? S-T-R-O. I ain't come to play with you. Yeah. Life challenging, but I wouldn't trade I with you. Trade. Early, I'm up. Yeah. I can't spend the day with you. I'm out of my business. Uh. I ain't getting paid with you. Nope. My color bright. Yep. I ain't finna play with you. Man, I gotta come clean like I'm made with clean. you. I've been on my everybody drop when, when I, I drop. Yeah. Look at shorty, uh. she support uh. bra. Lifting up. Never not on my grind. New York City time. Another brother better, you will never find. I've been in my bag like groceries. Competition shouldn't take shots, take notes, please. Reporting live from the winner's side. Ready, try, keep a different vibe. Is you down the ride, never tired. You will never know, you ain't never tried. Work it out, hit the gym, hit the field. Hey, yo, I need that. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard. 
on the job, you can see that. On my head is real good, we don't need your feedback. They clear the way when my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the uh-huh. wings. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the wings. Now what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the wings. Yeah. Yeah. Beats, leave it in the street, the chase on the news. What I do? Lace up my shoes, chase W's. Great colored coops, oh no no, I can't be number two. MVP the league most valuable, they sweet as apple juice. Talking trophies, I didn't grab the few, can't match this attitude. I wear my heart on my sleeve, please. I move like the wind, can't catch this breeze, freeze. Stop you in your tracks, there's not no preseason. We seek it.